came all the way from Indiana to work the uh, Patriot Voices booth? I did. And it's, you know, when you're in politics, it's like the political mecca. I'm like, ooh, real Iowans. It's been pretty impressive to see what the people of Iowa have stood up to do. And ladies and gentlemen, when you embrace the high calling of leadership, not only will the White House look different, Pennsylvania Avenue, not only will K Street look different, but Main Street will look different. Your street will look different. Just the challenges of raising our children. When you look and see what's on TV every day, what the influences they face at school, what parents are having to, to do just to make ends meet, to go work, to pay the bills that the government taxes. That's why so many Americans seem to be without hope. It's really just a battle of two worldviews. This is something Dr. Dobson said once. I completely agree with this. It comes down to this. Either God is or he isn't. That's the whole battle right there. Instead of transforming the world, the world has transformed the church. We live by the same twisted, perverted standards that are advocated by the ungodly all around us. They own the judiciary. They own the executive branch. They captured the, uh, the education establishment a long time ago. Uh, they, uh, and, and they're in a the process of capturing most of the, uh, the pulpits. All the liberal pulpits uh, were lost a hundred years ago. Well, the Family Leader uh, Conference is uh, you know, I think a great event is pulling together a lot of activists around Iowa. And then it turned out that in addition to my speaking here, we're going to do our uh, Fox television show live from here tonight. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm loving this. The people are just so excited about, you know, what's going on in the country today. Events like this just reaffirm and confirm within me that we're doing the right thing. Are these the super homeschool moms that wrote the We Over Rule book? And let's look at the line of people ready to get this book. To see the, the number of believers in Christ come together to make a difference in pol the political process is awesome. Now I would go anywhere to hear Joel Rosenberg. Is America in trouble because of the pagans? Or is America in trouble because of the church, the weakness of the church? So if we beg God as individuals, as families, as congregations, plead with him, fast, pray, plead with the God the Father to, to, to apply 2 Chronicles seven fourteen to our country, the United States, he might do it. The word of God changes hearts. It transforms. Thrilled the way this came together, because as you saw, they want to hear the worldview stuff. I mean, every individual, all of us here, we need to lead. Uh, all of us in our marriages, our parenting, our jobs, whatever it is, we need to lead and lead with integrity. Give me one word to describe the event. Awesome. Awesome. Too awesome. Terrific. Fabulous. We had a fabulous. Eye-opening. Eye-opening. That's with a hyphen. Inspiring. Great. 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 Boot camp. Boot camp. Encouraging. Being able to speak freely, you're not politically correct. I've already been fired up from it. The winner of this year's Iowa Pops. Well, we, we love coming back to Iowa. We love coming back and, and talking and, and meeting with the people from here in the heartland uh, who stand up for the values uh, that are central to a free republic. You know, we started an organization called Patriot Voices. We wanted to start an organization where we were trying to reflect your values, pretty much what the family leader does. There's a lot of media here, and we should thank them because it helps us get our message out when the media shows up. The fear of being by ourselves the fear of not having somebody to share the experience. It's an incredible terror that a lot of people never get over. And one of the things I hope you do before you leave is look around and realize you're not alone. Get out from under the juniper tree. No point in playing Elijah. You may say, I'm the only one you have left. But if you'll listen to the still small voice, what he'll tell you is this. He's got plenty of people, plenty of people who have not bowed their knee to Baal. You're not alone. But even if you were, you and God can take on the whole world and you're better off than if you had the whole crowd with you and God was on the other side. You are not alone. God bless you. Thank you so very much for your being here today. Thank you. So the Leadership Summit, it's a fresh idea. 
Obviously, it's very well received. I think we'll do it again next year. You're coming. Are you coming? Most definitely. You're coming. coming. Absolutely. Are you already making plans for next year? Absolutely. I'm just excited for what's yet to come. She's coming back next year, folks. We better have it. Just tell me when it is, and I'll be there.